Balloonist Brooke Owen's parents flew just for fun. My parents purchased their first balloon when I was seven years old. Owen turned his passion for ballooning into a business. He's piloted balloons for more than 20 years. I get to meet people from all over the world. Um, I've, I've flown some celebrities, I've flown musicians, I've flown, you know, doctors, surgeons, to, uh, it, all walks of life uh, from all over the world. And uh, getting able to share this experience with them, the, you know, the, the tranquil beauty and, uh, you know, uh, just, just showing people what I like to go out and do on a daily basis. I've flown uh, in, uh, in Canada, throughout the U.S., and then over in Switzerland in the Alps in the uh, heart of the winter. Really, uh, really, uh, th those are majestic mountains to fly in, you know. Different, different than this, but uh, beautiful nonetheless. Lots of tourism here between uh, between the communities of Lake George and Saratoga Springs, and uh, Adirondack balloon flights was initially started here uh, by an individual. He had a balloon back in the early 70s, and he found that every time he'd go out to fly, somebody would stop him and want to buy a balloon ride from him. Uh, that's where Adirondack balloon flights initially came from. Was a, a, a part-time passion that this guy had for going out and flying, and uh, and and he found that it was just a really nice flyable area with the open lands and the trees and the rivers and the scenery that we have around. It's just an ideal place for ballooning. Brooke Owen and his wife Kirsten have owned and operated the company Adirondack Balloon Flights since 2007. The uplifting experience they provide gives customers a new perspective on the world. In your daily life, uh, you cannot see anything like this, so this is so unreal. It's beautiful, the trees, the mountains, the colors, everything around it is just beautiful. We're about 1,500 feet right here, folks, so about 500 meters or so, yeah. Back to our, uh, back to our west, the Adirondack Park. We're on the southeastern edge of the Adirondack Park. Uh, we're flying just in between the, uh, the Green Mountains and the uh, Adirondacks here. Out in the countryside, it's a beautiful area to fly. It's all uh, it's rolling hills, trees, farmland, mostly uh, uh, hay and alfalfa fields, really, uh, and really nice farmers. And then uh, the higher peaks off to our east. As co-owner of the company and pilot, Owen has many responsibilities. I'm in charge of all operations of the balloon ride itself, uh, from determining launch site, uh, um, our course that we're gonna fly to and uh, from and to, uh, as well as really just the uh, general safety of, uh, of all the passengers uh, on board the balloon. Yeah, safety is paramount in ballooning. You know, you can never be too safe. Um, so, you know, there's, there's days where, uh, you know, you're sitting on the ground and you sure would like to fly. You have a, a basket full of, uh, of people ready to go and uh, sometimes the weather's not good. And so having those years of experience really helps you uh, identify the days that, you know, are, are good and, and bad and, and, and or even better, you know. And um, so it's just, uh, it's, just a, a, it's just bringing those skills all together and, and really being able to figure out what you're comfortable with doing. Brooke Owen's wife, Kirsten, is a co-owner of the company. She handles administrative, financial, and personnel duties, and sometimes helps in the field. In addition to the Owens, four other people work for the company part-time. They help inflate the balloon and get it off the ground. They also follow the balloon's path from a van as a safety measure, and to provide a way for passengers to get back to their original spot after the balloon lands. They're in a vehicle and uh, they follow along, it's purely visual. Uh, we're in radio contact so we can inform them where we're going to and from. And, um, you know, but other than that, it's, it's a visual, um, you know, ways of, of navigating. And uh, the, the balloon's 80 feet tall, so it's, it's pretty, pretty visible in the sky. And uh, they simply just tag along and uh, they, go, they go and uh, help us find, uh, you know, acceptable landing areas. Now we need to go that way, you guys, so if everybody will turn and blow back <laughs> over the hill, but do it together, then we'll, then we'll get going to the north. I have no steering mechanism. We simply go where the winds go. So, uh, yeah, so we simply uh, go with the wind. Various, uh, at various altitudes, you'll find different directions and different speeds. And, um, you, you, find, you find the most desirable of those directions and speeds to uh, carry you where you want to go. It's a peaceful calm and uh, it's, it's challenging to me, you know, it's, uh, it, it's not just 
turning a, a steering wheel or a rudder and, and making the thing go where you want. It's, it's finding the right winds and getting the thing from point A to point B and, and doing it safely. So you know where we're going to land? No. no. <laughs> uh, out here. So, so what we've done is we've climbed up high to, to cover the valley. And then, uh, and then once we get to the, back to the uh, west side of the canal, we pretty much have access to the majority of these fields all the way up to Fort Anne, so all the way up through the, through the point in the hills there. I know where I'd like to land, but I don't always get that choice. I do determine the landing spot, and that's determined throughout the flight. So as the flight wears on, you know, we kind of get an idea of where we're going and, uh, and what options we have for uh, landing. The crew members also help prepare the balloon for storage and future flights. They help uh, pack up the balloon. They squeeze the air out of the balloon. We throw it in the bag, throw it on the trailer, and then uh, help set up the champagne for the uh, champagne toast uh, upon landing. A lot of people do ballooning for, uh, for a recreation, a hobby. Um, I'm fortunate that I can uh, go out and, and make a living at this and, and show people what we get to do and, and really give them a treat with, uh, with hot air ballooning.